Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. Happy day 145 of our Be Creative series. It was a tough day for me today, and I didn't know what I was going to photograph. So I took a spin to the market, and calling out to me from the produce department was this beautiful cantaloupe. And if you come in and take a look, look at the beautiful swirling pattern, the symmetry of the cantaloupe. Now, what have I got here? We're sitting just in the dining room. You can see I've got a black card in the back to make a nice black background. The cantaloupe sitting on a piece of glass to give me some reflection. I have a white card here to reflect light back in because if I take the card away, you notice that this side gets dark. And you know what? You haven't seen Tito's vodka in a while. There he is. So I'm going to put the card back so we have that nice reflector to bounce the light back. And we're going to take a look at this image made with just the house lights. And it's a nice image. I've got some nice symmetry. I've got the reflection. I'm aperture priority at f16 for one and a half seconds. And there goes the exposure. Oh, look at that. You saw me in the view. There it is. Look at that. There I am. Hey, everybody. Right? So that's with just the house lights. Not really creative. So what am I going to do? Watch the scene. I'm going to turn on the big savage light. So we're going to control the light. And we're going to turn out the house lights. Let me slide by here. I'm going to get out the house lights. Now, come on in and look at that same scene. Right? See how it's changed? With just the one direction of the light coming down. Right? You can see the colors improve too. Because with a nice LED light source, we have a better quality light source. Now look what happens now if I take the reflector away. Right? See how that works? So people ask me, so Mark, why are you photographing ordinary things around the house? Isn't that kind of boring? Well, it's kind of confusing and it's kind of a challenge and I really like it. And I'm tangled up here in the microphone, but what I like about it is the exercise, the mental exercise. No, 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 leave the lights out because here we're going to change the light. And now I'm going to bring the light down. Come on over here, look at the viewfinder. And I'm going to feather the light away to give us some stronger shadows. And it almost looks like the moon or the death star now. And that's a great effect. And what did I do? I just changed the lighting. So aperture priority F16. I'm going to shoot that. Awesome. We're playing. We're having fun. We're being creative with a cantaloupe. I spent $1.79 on my prop tonight. I don't know if I can afford that, right? We've got a pandemic going. We have to be careful. Of course we do. But we need to be creative. We need to get our juices flowing. We need to get out and try some things. And that's what we're trying. Photographing everyday things. Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the Creative Photo Academy and the lab at Paul's Photo. Wishing you good day, great pictures, and I can't wait to see your pictures. Because we're going to use those hashtags. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 146 of the Be Creative series.